Yeah, I don't. You know, last year's last year. Um, we've had lots of road wins over the years, um, so uh, I think we'll have plenty of them this year. We got um, we got a veteran team. We got you know guys who embrace this stuff, and uh, so I'm not I'm not surprised. I'm, and I'm also not thinking about last year. That's be, behind us. Steve, you, uh, you were doing very really well with the turnovers in the fourth quarter. Yeah. Uh, what, do you, what do you think it is? Because you do have a lot of veterans on the floor, but what's been what's happening? We just didn't we didn't get spaced and we didn't um, handle their traps very well. And uh, we'll we'll look at the tape. We'll do a better job. But I thought the uh, the key to the comeback was the steal and the three by Fox. Um, we didn't have anybody open. Loon was trying to come back for the ball, um, and I think Clay Clay threw it. And they made the steal and got the three, and then all of a sudden, you know, it's a game again. And so, it's a great clip for us to have to show to remind our guys, um, you know, press break, press offense, what's important, spacing, uh, making sure we're we're taking care of the ball. So, something we haven't worked on a whole lot yet. So we'll have to put that in. You've seen Steph go off numerous of times. You know, today in the third quarter, uh, I believe you had 16, and then Fox 17, 18 in the fourth quarter. Uh, what is your assessment just seeing two very uh, guards just kind of go against each other? Leaving? Yeah, I mean, they're both really hard to, to stop, uh, obviously. Um, you know, we were trying to guard the three-point line um, in the fourth quarter with the lead, so Fox, um, you know, got into the paint. Um, I was okay with, you know, the... The, the floaters and the, the pull-up jumpers he was making. Um, but uh, then he knocked down a couple of threes, you know, late that um, that really made it a game. So he's, he's tough to handle. Steve, how'd you like Loon's crossover and dunk? Yeah, we call that Milwaukee Loon. Uh, if you ever uh, want to be surprised, watch uh, watch Loon's high school mixtape. It looks like Kevin Durant, you know. he's uh, He's got that. He's got stuff in his game, and every once in a while, he pulls it out, and the, his teammates love it. How big was Moody? Moody uh, has been fantastic. I mean, he's so confident with his shot um, and uh, making smart decisions, good plays. He had three steals. Um, really, really proud of Moses. I mean, he's had a great camp. Um, so is J.K. Third year, it, it feels like both guys are really playing with a lot of confidence. Were you looking for a place to get Trace in? I know some of it was Dario got four fouls, but have you been kind of searching for a place to drop him in? Yeah, we, we like uh, what Trace can give us because it's a different look. You know, the lob threat, um, the, the verticality at the rim, um, good good rim protection, very smart player, doesn't make mistakes. So uh, with the foul trouble, um, and, you know, with Dario, and then we wanted to give Loon some some uh, rest so to get ready for the fourth. So it felt like a good place to give him some time. Steve, does this team need a bona fide second scorer, or do you like envision more of a committee approach? You mean like trading for somebody, or uh, no, like no. Uh, somebody emerging, or uh, I don't know. We're we're just figuring out our team right now. We got um, a lot of talent, a lot of shooting, um, good young players. Like I, I really like our mix, and uh, I'm not worried about any of that stuff. Do you some players just like a build? Do you feel like this is one of those cases where? This score just you know a lot loves the building, loves the arena, loves the rims. Is that, is that what's going on with Steph? You think with Steph? Yeah. It, Steph loves every building and every room. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, he's he's Steph. I don't know what what else to say about. Him. All right, thanks. Hi, Steve. Uh, Jim Condon here from RCB Radio Sport Ireland. Uh, Steve, I'm just wondering, uh, in terms of Paul George, in terms of uh, matchups, he's a guy that can play in the backcourt and the front court. He can link up with uh, Kai and Serge in the front court, but he can also play in the shooting guard. How does, what, as a coach, do you prefer to see Paul in the backcourt or do you prefer to see him in the front court? Which do you think he's more dangerous as a, a player, as a threat to you? He's dangerous everywhere. You know, he's, a, he's, it's what makes him a great player. He's, uh, he handles the ball, uh, like a point guard and, uh, but he's as big as a power forward. Uh, so that's why, you know, Paul George is an all-star. That's why he, he's a max player. Uh, he's a, a great, great two-way player and uh, very difficult to, to cover all over the court. 